In this video, we'll check what firmware the phone has. We'll start off with the gear button. And then this will give us a menu on the actual phone. So we want to go ahead and scroll down to the phone information. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down a tad more. So this phone is an enterprise phone. It has version 14.1.1. So if you have an enterprise phone, then this will be the method to check what version it has. The next phone we'll take a look at is a 3PCC, also known as an MPP phone. We start off the same way. We're going to hit the gear button. And then we're going to get a menu on the phone itself. And this time we're going to go to the last item on the menu. And that will be status and then product information. And then we will see the MPP version. In this case it's 11-3-6 MPP, also known as 3PCC. This is information you'd want to share with a Cisco partner if you're troubleshooting the phone, for example, for firmware migrations or perhaps registering with WebEx calling or a third party call controller, SIP service or cloud service, if you will. And you want to identify first which flavor of firmware does the phone have? Is it enterprise firmware, which is only for Cisco call manager? Or is it 3PCC firmware, such as MPP firmware? In this case, we have 1136 MPP firmware. 3PCC and MPP are one and the same. Sometimes folks will refer one or the other. But the key thing is there is going to be minimum versions of firmware that is needed on a phone if you're going to register to WebEx calling. The same applies if you're going to do firmware migration. So for example, if you have a situation you need to migrate MPP phones over to enterprise phones so you can register to CUCM, there's going to be minimum firmware versions to even start off the firmware migration to minimize running into issues and vice versa. If you have enterprise phones but you need to use it with WebEx calling, there's going to be a minimum enterprise version you want to have on the phone before migrating. As of the recording of the video, if you're going from Enterprise to MPP, you'd want to bump up the phone to version 14.1.1, so 14.1 parentheses 1, before the firmware migration to minimize issues. If you're going in the other direction, so you have MPP phone, you're going to Enterprise, you want to bump up the version of the MPP version to 11.3.6 before the firmware migration. And these are really just best practices. However, when you are viewing this video, you would want to take a look at the documentation for the firmware migration. A good resource is upgrade.cisco.com, also known as Cloud Upgrader. They have different sections on the site to cover the different scenarios. And typically, they'll have references of what is the suggested minimum firmware. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you with identifying what firmware version your Cisco phone has and also some of the other considerations based upon what you're going to be doing. Thank you.